Right, this is an instruction video for a program I wrote and put up on GitHub. The program is called HeistMap, and with it you can select data uh, from the NASA Blue Marble Next Generation. And this data is for the Earth. Here is a globe of the Earth, terrestrial globe. And you can specify a region in longitudes and latitudes. And um, the program will pick out elevation data and satellite images in color put into two data files. Well, the elevation data is in grayscale, where each pixel represents an area, a square, kilometer or something. And the other ju is just the color from the satellite images taken. There are 12 available in the Blue Marble project f for January to December. And the default in the program is to use the one from October 2004. Here is the equator in the middle of the Earth. This is zero latitude and latitude is vertical, so it grows up towards the North Pole, so the North Pole is at 90 degrees, degrees north, and South Pole ni minus 90 degrees. And longitude is in this horizontal direction, and longitude uh, begins at zero somewhere around Britain, here is zero, and grows to negative to the west, and uh, here is positive. Where I live up here in Scandinavia, it is uh, from plus 5 to, uh, I don't know, plus 30 or something. And in, in this particular globe, you c there is actually down here uh, levers you can uh, turn. And this moves a little dot. So if I, I just move this dot to, now it's right above Scandinavia here. And I move this one, then I move the dot. And I put it in the Mälardalen region, which is, which is where I live, in Sweden. And it says about 64, 64 degrees north on the latitude. And I think that's pretty close. If you look at Google Maps, you can check out the exact number. Yeah, and now to use the program, I'm going to turn off this camera and do a screencast. Okay, now I'm in front of the computer. Here's the project github page and if you click here on git read only and copy and then open the terminal window go down a bit use the program git clone if you don't have git installed install it first and paste the string go into the directory and there's a lot of files here if you just type make Okay, I got an error, and it's because I'm on OS X. Now, on Linux it works after the box. On OS X I have to change two lines in the make file here. It says so in the comment here. On Mac ports, uncomment those two lines and run again. Okay, now the program is built. If I just run the program like this, here's the upper left corner, 74 degrees north, 3 degrees east, and with Arrow the area 19 degrees high and 27 degrees in the longitude direction. But just copy this line and run it. And now it complains that it doesn't have a data files. But it says run get data files.sh to get download the file. Okay, that's in the data files subdirectory. Here is the shell script. So run that one. But this will take a very long time, so I'm gonna do. I have already downloaded it here, and it's actually two files. This is the biggest one with the elevation data for the whole world, and this is the texture data for the whole world taken with satellites in uh, October 2004. Now it works, it creates. One height map image contain an grayscale contain elevation data and a texture image. And uh, what is the height map and texture? It uh, sounds like something you could render in a 3D program. And yes, I'm going to use the program Blender. Now, what is this? Uh, you, if you just click render, you're going to see a box. But we want to see the height map. So I delete the box, then you can press X to delete the box. Delete. And file 
and import an image as plane here. If this is not enabled, image as plane, if you don't see it, go into user preferences, enable Im import image as plane add on, and go back and import image as plane. There, Scandinavia highest map. Import image as plane. Now it's very small, so I can press S to scale it up. And one more time, S. See, and I maybe I can move, adjust the light a bit. I move it around, press G to grab it. You can experiment with learning how to use Blender. I should change into Cycles Render, it's better than Blender Render. And change the lamp type to Sun. I can change the strength to 5. And rotate the direction of the Sun. Press R for rotate. Maybe that's okay, like that. If I press 0, I get into camera view. And here I press M to get this sub-menu and click on lock camera to view and again to remove that view. And w now when I rotate, there's nothing, it's just a plane. And if I render this one, I think I'm gonna get not very much. And edit mode. And uh, press W to get Sub menu and choose subdivide. And here is 300, maybe. Okay, if you choose 400, you get higher resolution. Get back to object mode. Go into this wrench thing, which is object modifiers, and choose displays. It's here. And texture. Choose the one, Scandinavia haste map. Now something has happened. Go out to camera view, press 1 to front view. Zero to go, go back then to camera view. And I zoom in, but it doesn't look okay from here. It's because the texture coordinates are wrong. I change this to UV mapping instead. Now it's correct. So go to zero. Here and can press render again. Now I actually get something that looks like Scandinavia. Change the material, go here. And you could, uh, for instance, Use a diffuse BFSD here and choose a color, maybe green, and see how it looks. And it would be green. <laughs> but we want the texture, and conveniently enough, the program has actually generated the texture. So go back here. Instead of color, choose the texture, image texture, and open. And here it is Scandinavia texture. Open image. Now, it looks like nothing has changed, but it has. If I go back to render now, it will actually render with the data, and the texture data is perfectly matched to elevation data, as you can see here. But in the, the it has only it is only the land areas that are elevated. You could, uh, for instance, add the plane to simulate the sea level rise. I can do that. Add the mesh plane. I go to another view here. Move it up a bit, scale it a bit, like that. I go back to zero, see how it looks, render. And now you can see the plane has covered. I'm going to change this white material of the plane. Material and new material. Instead of diffuse, choose a mix shader. And then it, it ha has two shaders. First can be diffuse. And a color, watercolor, like that. And the second one, transparent. There. Then you can choose with the factor here, how transparent. If you turn it up, it will get more transparent. Then 0.7, it's pretty trans transparent. Render again. And you see, it's pretty transparent. And you can see land, but which is now here, below water. Okay, I can show how to animate it. Here, choose the first frame, select keyframe, location rotation scale, and put the keyframe there. Then, go to the last frame, and this is frame 250. Raise the plane, and insert another keyframe here. And then, you can see it will move from there to there. Now, there is actually another feature in the program. If you just write the program name, you get some help. Here, you can use another data file instead of the default one. If you check the make file, 
I'll choose VI to get the color syntax highlighting here. Type make merge topopathy. And what does that mean? That uh, builds a program that merges two data files, one topology file and one bathography file. Bathography is the elevation of the C floor. I'm gonna just paste that one in. And now it's built another binary. If I run that one, uh, it says it misses this file, Gepco, Bathy, blah, blah, blah. And you can actually download that one too. If you look in data files, get data files.sh, here, this is the correct one. The, download this, and then when it's downloaded, unzip it with gunzip, it will get rid of this ending here. All right, and now I, I uh, move to another directory where I have actually downloaded this file. But I have not built the binary. I'm going to use this one, paste, go to here, type dash h, and data files, merge, that one, merged, top of Bathy. Because when you run merge top of Bathy, then this would be created, this file, merged top of Bathy. Now, if we run the program again, it does exactly the same, but, and the texture image will be identical, but uh, this one, Scandinavia Hive Map, will be different be because it will contain elevation data for the seafloor too. So if I go back to Blender, and you see I uh, get a lot more detail now. And here, uh, something seems to be going on with the ocean floor. Get much deeper up here, to the northwest of Scandinavia. Yeah, and if I add another plane to simulate rising of the sea levels. Zoom in. Now I'm going to do a, a full animation. From 0 to 250 and just add it when it's finished. Like that. From here up to here. 